Hmm. So that's an issue. Uh, Alright, so putting it in park didn't help. I'm going to do a reboot now and see if that works. Okay, so that worked. Reboot fixed that. But that may be why this hasn't rolled out to everyone yet. Alright, um, heading to Waynesville. Um, Interesting. Okay, I guess I'm driving manually. Um, got no connectivity. I just rebooted. Okay, there we go. Um, and yeah, I don't know why that turn signal just came on. Or that. Turn signals um, have been going on and off here for a while. All right, so again, a turn signal. Um, since this version came out, turn signals have been going crazy on my road and um, for no reason. But um, it just went around that curve perfectly. Sorry, I was distracted. I was uh, trying to think of something. Um, so, the um, turn signals are they are just uh, going off for all the little curves. All right, it needs to get over. See how it just angled to make this turn? That is not correct behavior. And wow, that was a bad turn there. Um, yeah, so it just had a perfect, perfect time in that blind curve. It stayed where it should, perfect, while I was, um, talking and thinking. And then, um, that turn out of my road was just kind of dumb. There was no traffic, so, you know, no need to disengage, but definitely not how it should make that turn. And it says I still have no connectivity. So a lot of people ask um, how this version is doing as far as highway driving, just where nav on autopilot was just so good at what it did, you know, if there are any regressions. And so far, in my experience, there are no regressions. It is super smooth on the highway, does a really good job. Um, I've even let it change lanes on its own. The only complaint still is bad map data, as I showed in that um, the video from a few days ago where I um, drove into Asheville and uh, it missed the exit because of bad map data. Um, those kinds of things, I mean, you can't, 
you can't do anything about that until they stop using that data that's in inaccurate. But otherwise, it does a really good job. It's super comfortable on the highway, uh, which actually surprised me. I totally expected um, regressions, you know, kind of a two step forward, one step back on the highway, but it is great. And you know, I don't, I don't sugarcoat anything. I, I'm gonna say if it sucks or if I don't like it or whatever, but. Um, yeah, so, so far, this version is the best version and also the only one that I've noticed major improvements on. And that's not to say it's perfect, not to say that you can relax and not pay attention, but um, as far as driving goes and capabilities, it's, it's way better. Um, and if that, if it takes getting, uh, waiting, um, you know, an extra two months to get an update, I would rather that happen than to get an update every couple weeks and every update have issues. So, um, yeah, I, my confidence level with FSD getting to super at, Advanced. What the heck is it doing? Oh. Uh, my fault. I had a stop right there. Um, Publix. I have no connectivity. Come on. See, unknown location. I have no connectivity. I, it won't, it won't do anything. And that, that bug still exists. Um, it totally was not... Car was not getting into the turn lane. So, yeah, that was... Um, that was not the best. Uh, not sure why it wasn't. It was like it was going to go further ahead. Um, so, yeah, like I was just saying, it's not perfect. It's still going to mess up. Uh, be ready and um, just enjoy the ride. Um, but, you know, like I said, overall, things are better. But it's still going to do the wrong thing at the wrong time. Okay. Totally was not paying attention to the speed limit and uh, actually passed a cop sitting in that parking lot. Um, I'm speeding up because these uh, people, uh, my car was not going to get over. As you can see, the the data issue is there, and I think that's an issue with the people who have the snapshot button. Um, I haven't seen anyone else talk about that, but um, yeah, whatever that issue is, I hope they fix it soon.